Hello and welcome back to the Sergio Perez career. Today we're at Melbourne for the Australian Grand Prix. We cut on to the end of our first flying lap and let's see where this lap's gonna take us. It takes us to P5 for the moment and we cut on to our second lap now which then takes us to P3 and now we cut to our third flying lap and this lap puts us into P7 on the grid So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Nico Rosberg will start his silver arrow from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Raikkonen, Max Verstappen, and Vettel, Perez, Bottas, Button, and Fernando Alonso. Hulkenberg, Massa, Roman Grosjean, and Sainz, Gutierrez, Fiat, Kevin Magnussen, and Julian Park. Arianto and Verlein, Marcus Eriksson and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. It is five hour late for the Australian Grand Prix and away we go. Looks like we've got a good start there. And we're going to try and overtake Verstappen to the left of him as Ricardo looks to take the lead of his home Grand Prix. And we're going to go around the outside and we've been forced off into the grass from the Mercedes and the Red Bull of Verstappen coming together, I think that was. But now we're going to be under pressure from Verstappen as going onto the grass to avoid that collision that would have happened slowed us down. But we're not able to hold it around the outside. And Verstappen takes P3 away from us. And let's take a replay of the start. On board with Max Verstappen as he makes contact with Hamilton. And then we actually slightly touch Verstappen. But then as you can see there we get a poor exit off from the grass. And Verstappen's going to go around the outside of us into turn 3. But he's not going to hold it around the outside. But that's going to turn to the inside for him. Which enables him to overtake us. And then into turn 5. And now cutting on to lap 2. We're going to look to try and overtake Verstappen into this corner. We're going to dive up the inside. And we have taken P3 back away from Verstappen. But now we cut to lap 3. And we're now under pressure from Lewis Hamilton. Going into turn 1. And we get hit from the back from Verstappen. Which puts us off slightly going into turn 1. And now that's going to make us under pressure again from Verstappen going to turn 3 he goes to the inside this time and we're going to try and hold it around the outside and we slightly touch his back wheel there but now we get the inside for this corner but we're not able to hold it in the inside at this as Verstappen holds it in the inside but we cut to lap 4 now and we dive up the inside of Verstappen going into turn 9 I think that is and we have taken P4 back but we're now going to cut to an outboard shot on the same lap, lap 4, as the Red Bull of Verstappen tries to overtake the Williams of Bottas, I think that is. But he doesn't manage it. But the Ferrari is now going to overtake Verstappen. Raikkonen, I think that is. Yeah, that was definitely Raikkonen. But now we cut to the next lap, and Raikkonen is looking to overtake Bottas. Going into the right-hander. Will he make it stick? Yes, he does. Going into this next corner, but now we cut to lap 6. As it looks like the team are going to be double stacking with ourselves and Hulkenberg as we go on to the soft compound tyres. But now we cut on to lap 12 as we're under pressure from Kimi Raikkonen going into the fast left right chicane. And we're going to be up the inside but now it's going to be the outside. We have run out of room and for the second time in this race we have had all four wheels on the grass. And we lose the position to the Ferrari driver. And now we cut on to lap 14. And it's th there's a yellow flag ahead. I wonder what this could be. And it looks like Vettel is off to the left. 
I wonder what has happened to him. Could it be an engine blowout maybe, or was it an incident that happened? Let's go and find out. And yes, it was an engine blowout. So very unlucky for the Ferrari driver from Germany. And he could possibly hold up the Haas car here. But he goes off to the left onto the grass. And then through the gravel and back onto the grass and parks the car. In kind of a dangerous position but it was alright for, for no safety cars. But we cut to lap 15 and the Williams of Massa, that is, is going to go around the outside. As Nico Rosberg wins the race, we cut to the chequered flag and that is a solid P5 for us. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Sergio Perez career. If you did, leave a like, share the video around and subscribe to the channel for more F1 videos including this series and the Korean Wood series, which I also do on this channel. So see you next time for that, and goodbye.